Okay, so welcome back everybody, and today I am with Ryben and Dalmont. And basically what we have up here is the last ship in the review. And Ryben has been speed building for the entirety of the live stream today. And this is what he's managed to turn out for us. So we're going to take a few slow passes on this and just see what it is exactly that he's brought. All right, well, this is the EFSF Zealot. It's the fourth in a line of uh, patrol type ships. I've got the Templar, which you may remember as the first speed build challenge I did. Yep. And then I got the Crusader, which actually was based off of you were doing a lineup and I kind of built during the lineup, but it wasn't a speed build challenge. And then the Centurion, which is pretty well known. And this is the newest edition. It's a high speed uh, scout corvette, patrol corvette sort of thing. And I just kind of threw it together. Turned out way better than I thought it would, to be honest. You can land uh, on a planet, it has a small interior. Yeah. Speaking of that interior, dang. <laughs> I, I am what? I am impressed, sir, that you've managed to cram that in there as effectively as you have. <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And it even has recessed lighting. Yeah. Recessed lighting, a uh, multi-level bridge. <laughs> and, and what is the grand total of, of meterage, if you will, for this, this beastie? This thing is 87 meters long, 19 high, and 37 wide. And most of the width and height is in wingy bits, admittedly. <laughs> You've heard it here first, and no excuses anymore, ever again. You have to have an yeah. interior now. Mm -hmm. That being said... Let's um, have a look, shall we? Oh boy. Where's it's, this? There's, it's a lot of, dark. there's a lot of space in here. Have yeah, I missed you know, a door? I, let me... Uh, the door is at the very bottom. It's a it's a tight fit to get in. <laughs> I won't, won't pretend any other way. It just, it oh, is. there. Okay, so in we go. Wait. Wait, what? Hang on. <laughs> Wait, it's hang on. So you, up small. we go, and then in we go. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. You've got a chair. Mm -hmm. You've got Couple steps to a core. You've got a faction block. And then there's all, the creature, got all the creature comforts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely view. Yeah, actually, it turned out better than I thought. I tried to keep the whole front end down. Do you know what? That whole two, that whole put in two wedges and then yeah, that really works because you can get your head out without it mm -hmm. breaking up the wedge. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's interesting. I, I do like that just as a way to do all observation windows because the problem is you yeah. always got the corners in the way. Yeah, it just it makes life a lot easier. Mm. Um, and you can actually put a wedge countering the upside down wedge if you will on the outside which is what i did with the white ones on the sides of that window and that actually covers up again the gap that would be there so nice yeah um but yeah she she has a uh, small amc cannon a couple of uh missiles in phantom inspired uh under underbody uh wingy bits yeah which are actually pretty cool looking if, if yeah. I could just say, I think you've uh, inspired me with your underside wingy bits. Those are some of the most solid-looking front edges I've ever yeah. seen. I stole them from the Nova. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stole them. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> yeah, he's got the corner. Yeah, shamelessly. Yeah, corner, corner, what corner. I'm, corner. What right. I've been really happy about on this one is the actual. If you look at it from the side, the side profile. Um, that front end, the way it flares out towards the, the towards you know, the flares down rather. Um, I wasn't sure if I would get that effect very well, and I think it turned out better than well. It, in my opinion, it turned out better than I had expected. But uh, it also has um, a front uh, tripod landing yep. ability, so it, it should be able to land on. It's a, a tripod, is it? Fine. Yeah, it's a tripod. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know where you're going. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's still going to require some tweaking. Um, it's fully set up so that I can set a chain gun, machine gun 
type thing in the front once new weapons come out. Um, all I'm going to do is add another uh, weapons computer and then put the extra AMCs in the back and then link them up to the ones in the front and it'll be a, uh, a chain gun. It does it look does. a bit like a Learjet, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. But uh, it also carries two uh, small weapons pods, which will probably get fixed and like properly set up um, later on to be bigger. Because right now those are the fighter variants, and this is what I would consider a Corvette. Oh, okay. But she's uh, she's pretty quick. Right now she's got a two to one thrust mass ratio. She should have a three to one when I'm done. Cool. All right. Yeah. So what was the name of the ship again? The EFSF Zealot. The Zealot. Part of the Guardian line. The Zealot. Okay. Well, there it is. The Zealot by Ryben. So that would bring us to the end of the line. So thanks ever so much to everyone who took part and thanks to everyone who took the time to catch the stream and uh, thanks to, for watching the, this video on YouTube and uh, I see, see you next time.